So this is my Cloudflare account, okay? Uh, you have to just create your account. When you are done your account creation, you have to go to the websites. Here you have to add your domain. Why I'm going to add the domain here? Because we will be using a domain uh, for our backend and for our frontend. So it's better when you're uh, deploying both the applications on the same server, you must use domain. So I'm just going to uh, use my domain shop. So this is my domain. I will just click continue. So this domain is available on GoDaddy, okay? So what will be the next step? We have to update the name servers on GoDaddy, okay? Whatever the uh, cloud uh, uh, domain provider you are using, you have to just change it there. Select free, okay, continue. Meanwhile, just, uh, yeah, you can see here, in this page, you are assigned a Cloudflare name servers, okay? So we have to use these name servers, okay? Just go to uh, to the your GoDaddy, whatever the cloud provider, your domain provider you are using. This is just, I will just click on manage. This is my domain I'm going to use. And here you have to click on manage domain. And here you will see the name uh, server option. Okay, just click on DNS. Just click on name servers. When you, you have to click on change name servers. So first of all, on your side, it will be something like that, GoDaddy, okay? Uh, but what you, have, you will need to do, you will select on, I will use my own name server. So you will just need to copy and paste uh, these two uh, records, okay? Uh, name servers, okay, which I have shown you earlier and update it here, okay, and then save it. And then it will take 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, your domain will be uh, ready at Cloudflare to use. Okay? And then continue. Because I have already uh, attached my name servers, okay, that's why it's saying has failed because it is already added. So I will just uh, uh, cancel it. And you can see here, these are uh, the records. So you have to just make sure, just click on continue for now. I will show you how you can update these uh, records as well. Okay, continue. And if you just go to the websites, uh, just overview, websites. You can see it is active. Uh, for the first 10 minutes, you will see uh, it's pending. It will be in the pending state. When it will be uh, activated and connected at the Cloudflare, you will see active. So click on that domain, okay, and go to the DNS. And here you will need to just make sure the three records are there. First of all, this one, uh, a record, a name. If you need to add the record, you can just add a record, just choose the uh, type and the name and the IP address. IP address is uh, the same one, which is this one. I will just copy this IP address and I will just update it, update here. Just I will click on here, okay. So you can just easily add these records, update these records, it's very simple. So now we have uh, two C name records. First is API and the second is uh, this one, the uh, main one, okay. Here we will uh, route our front-end application and this one API dot uh, domain, okay, we will use for our back-end.